say a specific toast uh, to Todd and Karen because obviously this wouldn't have uh, occurred if it weren't for them being willing to sell the vote to us. So thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We bring it again. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now we switch to the rededication and renaming. Another drink. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would sacrifice a virgin. Seeing none. Uh, and, and of course, another alternative is uh, apparently a virgin urinating on the bow. <laughs> But the alternative is to essentially spill the proverbial blood of the virgin, and it needs to go uh, both east and west. Oh wow! Okay. And north and south. And by the way, we'll uh -oh, get it on the boat. Keep going. Better than on the carpet. Oh yeah. Here, 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 here. Boy, what a compliant crowd. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, women. Do we? Yeah, yeah. Water boy. Water boy. Water boy. Water boy. Right. All right, now let's get to the name. As I said, we needed a name that reflected about something about. Uh, part of it was we thought, well, it should reflect the industry that I work in because, after all, that's what has, has afforded us this boat. And so. There is a G in the name, and you're going to think that it's related to the foreign language of the word, but in fact, it's a hard G because of agriculture. So that's the first. And the second, and this is the most important, it should be the most prominent in your mind, the name needed to reflect essentially uh, the culture of this community, uh, the joy that we get from each other and living on the water and being on the water. Uh, the new name of this boat uh, has everything to do with this community and uh, how much we enjoy being here. Aquaculture.